Hey, so if you're completely new to ClipBank and you want to learn how to use ClipBank to make money online, stick around. This is going to be a great video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to use ClipBank, how to find some great products on there and how to get some links to promote. I'm also then going to use an example of one of the products I use to promote to show you three great free traffic sources that you can go ahead and start with today. So before we get going, my name is Richard. This is the School of Nomads. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can catch up with our new videos. And go ahead and click that like if you find this video useful. So I've just jumped over to ClickBank. Now, just an explanation of what ClickBank is. ClickBank is the interface between vendors who actually make products and affiliates who go ahead and sell them, right? So ClickBank is where all of those products are actually stored. And there's a huge variety and thousands of thousands of products on ClickBank in lots and lots of different niches. And then that allow you as an affiliate to sign up, create an account, and then get links that allow you to promote those products. The way that you go for an account is you just create an account here, put all your details in here like any other of these forms that you would see on the web. On the second page, it'll ask you for address details and some tax details if you're living in places like the States. This is a real business and they actually send you checks through the post from ClickBank or they'll send you a banker's draft as you make commissions. And you'll be able to set those commission levels at a certain level and once it goes past that level, they'll actually send you a check to that amount. It's a real business. You make real money from this. So we'll put some put accurate details in these forms to allow them to send you that money. Now what they will do as part of the sign up process is they'll ask you to create a nickname and this nickname is the thing that you use in your affiliate links to promote the products. And it tells ClickBank exactly who is promoting that product so that they can send you those commissions. So once you create your account, you can go ahead and log in. Now once you've logged in, you'll see this page here. Now this is a new account that I created at the beginning of the year to do some training with. So I'm actually using it to actively sell anything at the moment. But you'll find that once you are, you'll have various tabs here, the dashboard, the reporting, this gives you more in-depth reporting. But for the purpose of this video, I wanna show you the marketplace. Now the marketplace has all of the products in various categories or niches on the left-hand side here. Now, well, the great thing about ClickBank is that depending what niche you're interested in promoting in, there's always gonna be products in that niche. But what I wanna be able to show you is how to find the good products that are actually selling. So the way that you do that is if you're into health and fitness, I'll go into health and fitness because it's one of the biggest niches, right? So if you're into health and fitness, you just click on that and it'll give you a whole list of products here that you can go ahead and promote. And they will be thousands of them. If I look at the display results, there's over a thousand products just in this health and fitness niche. Now the quickest way for you to see what's actually selling at the moment is just to click on this search button here and go to gravity and if you go onto the gravity this gravity will actually tell you that there's a good amount of affiliates actually selling this product at the moment now it doesn't mean there's 535 affiliates selling this because it's a weighted it's a weighted formula that they use to show what no the number of affiliates that are actually selling this product plus how popular it is at the moment and the momentum it's getting getting in the market so it's kind of a combination of factors but for our purposes it's just a very good way of knowing that that particular product is pretty popular. The other thing to look out for is the average sale. So if you're looking at the average sale, that means that on the whole, there's two aspects to when vendors put these particular products into ClickBank. They can either have just a front end product that people just go ahead and buy, or they usually have some kind of rebilling, which means they could have a membership site that they also ask people to go ahead and purchase so the average sale is the overall commissions from this product now it's a combination of that initial front sale plus any otos that they have which are one-time offers that they have once they they get into their funnel plus any kind of membership on the back end now if they've got no membership on the back end or no no rebuild then they'll be exactly the same so the initial sale here you see on the left hand side and let me just make this slightly bigger for you so you can see this the initial sale here you see on the left hand side, if they've got no kind of rebilling, will be exactly the same as the average sale. So what this is telling me on the whole is that the Cinderella solution, I get 95% commission on the front end. So anything they sell, as far as the front end product's concerned, I'll get 95% commission of it. But obviously the vendor wants you 
to bring the clients in and then they can go ahead then and sell them the membership or other products that they've got in their particular funnels. So their membership, their average rebuilding is $17. So it looks like they've got a, a small membership of some kind that you can then go ahead and join after and you get some kind of percentage of that. I will actually explain to you the description below exactly what each one of these items are um, rather than just go through it on this video. But the main things that I look at when I'm looking to promote something are how much of my commission is going to be? I want 75% commission or more. What is the average uh, dollar sale? I'm looking for stuff around $20 plus. I don't want something too cheap because I'm having to spend my own time to promote this. I'm also looking for something that's reasonable so people will actually buy it. So anything around $20 plus. And then the gravity, I'm looking for something around about 50 or over that tells me that it's a pretty relevant product at the moment. So they're the main things I would look for is that average rebuild, the gravity, and then the, the type of things that the affiliate actually provides. So if I click on this affiliate program, there are tools that the affiliate will actually provide that you can go ahead and use to promote this particular product. Now affiliate areas tend to be slightly different and there's a different way that you get your link sometimes. But this is just gonna give you an overview of exactly what you're going to be promoting and also some resources that you can go ahead and use to promote this, okay? I won't go through each one of these in individually, but you can see that there's some links here, there's some banners. So if I click on just the links here, this will give you various links to various types of landing pages depending where you want to advertise. And what I would do in this case is where, if I want to advertise this Facebook friendly VSL page, number one, if I replace the X's here with my affiliate ID, which in this, in this case would be app training, and use that link, that would link directly to that sales page. So just to, just to show you that each one of these products, it doesn't really matter which one it is, will have some form, let me just make that smaller, will have some form of affiliate center with various things in there that you can go ahead and. So I'm gonna show you an example of one product that I actually promote and how I actually get the links for that and, and how I go about promoting that. So I'm gonna to go to Parents and Families and it just so happens to be the top one, but this Baby Sleep Miracle is something that I, I promote at the moment. And if I go to the affiliates area on this, you'll see that there's a lot of resources on this particular product that I can go ahead and use to promote it. So I'm gonna show you how to actually get a link to promote a product. So the quickest way that I do it is I just go ahead and I'll hit the promote. I'll put my account nickname in there and I'll generate the link. And this is the link that I can use then to go ahead and promote that. So if I put that in Google, that will actually direct me straight to their sales page. And once I do that, I will be credited with a sale if they go ahead and purchase. So that's just to, took me straight to their sales page. And in the actual search bar, it says app training, which is my nickname and I will be credited if they go ahead and purchase this, okay? But that's not the best way to actually promote something on ClickBank. You don't directly link to um, a sales page because it very rarely actually works. The better way to do this is to create a website with a landing page that actually allows you to get some details of people that you can then follow up with once they're shown an interest in actually buying the product. So you can create an email series using some of the resources that you've already seen in the resource centers and you can provide some value through the email series and then after two or three emails you can then go back and say hey remember this great product that you you looked at it's on sale at the moment you know go, go ahead and take a look so it's a, a little bit more of a subtle way of actually promoting things rather than just trying to spam your link all over the internet so i'm going to quickly show you my landing page that i'm using for this particular product and then I'm gonna show you three ways that I actually promote these products for free. So let's just jump over to the landing page that I'm actually using to promote this product. So if you have a look at this landing page, this is just made with a page builder called Thrive Architect. It's very, very simple to use. Thrive Architect has got loads of great templates in there that make it this super quick to actually use. I've actually got other videos on the channel that show you how to use Thrive Architect. But just for the purpose of this, you can see this is a very, very simple landing page and I just want to gather an email address. Now once they put their email address in there, they'll go onto my autoresponder and my autoresponder is already loaded with two or three emails that are value-based emails 
with information on how to get a baby to sleep and several tips and tricks. And in that autoresponder, also after every couple of emails, there's one that reminds them of this product and gives them extracts of the product. So it's encouraging them to go back and take another look and maybe purchase a second or third time of viewing, which is the most, really most people um, need a little bit of warming up before they go ahead and purchase something out of the blue, right? So this is very simple. I just put their email address in there and I'll just do an example of one. And then if I go ahead and click that, they'll end up going back to the same page and then again if they do purchase off this i'll get credited with the purchase now the great thing about creating a website is that it allows you to also change the links that you get from clickbank and clickbank links can are notoriously ugly so you can put them into something called pretty links and it allows you to make a much nicer link to that particular product it looks like a subdirectory of your actual website now i do have a video that explains all of this on my channel so go check that out but essentially it just allows me to have a link that I can use in other websites that looks a lot nicer. So now I showed you the landing page that I use. I wanna show you ways that we can drive traffic to our links, right? So there's a number of options. Obviously you can use either paid traffic or you can use free traffic. I prefer, especially as this is for beginners, that you concentrate on the free traffic because that's gonna be less expensive in the short term. And when you're just learning this stuff, you want to make sure you've got a product that's going to sell for you and a landing page, for instance, is going to convert well before you go onto that paid traffic. Now, paid traffic could be things like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, lots of great, great options there for paid traffic. But what I want to do is really concentrate on the free traffic. So I'm going to give you some options that you can go ahead and use straight away and that can get you up and running, right? So the first one which is super easy to do, is something called Quora. So the first site I wanna show you is Quora. Now Quora is a super simple site that allows people to put questions in and then other people to answer them. So very, very easy to use, but I also find this very, very powerful. So if I just put a search term in, in here related to my baby niche and I wanna just know how can I get my baby to sleep. So I typed in how to make my baby sleep and I want to look at some of the answers that this person is getting that actually asked the question. So they got 38 answers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's actually a benefit to us. And people are just going ahead and giving this particular person advice. Now, within that advice, you can also link to various things like blog posts. You can link to websites. So there is a way that you can use this to your advantage and actually link back to your particular offer. One thing is, you do need to create value here. So don't just go ahead and, hey, we'll just follow this link and it'll tell you. Go ahead into Google or use some of that affiliate resource material and actually just add that to the particular question and obviously make it into your own words, but create some value and create some really nice answers for them and then link back to your website and say, if you want to find out more, you can always look at this, right? So this has got 38 answers, but the cool thing on this is if I look at the actual stats, you will see that this particular question has had 15,000 views. All right, that's a lot of views for this particular question. And it's the same for all the others. So all these related questions here, if I just go on to any of these related questions and look at the view count, again, this one has had 11,000 views, right? So there's a lot of eyes on this particular topic. Now you go into some of the biggest and bigger niches like health or you know make money online, there will be hundreds of thousands of views on some of these things, right? But the concept is the same. You go ahead and you find questions that are related to your particular topic, and then you just go ahead and answer them. So if I answer this question now, you'll be able to see that I can type my answer in here and it allows me to link to a URL. So I can put my link to your URL in there, and as long as my answer isn't too spammy, then you will get people that read it and go, hmm, I wonder if I want to learn a little bit more about this, and they'll click your link, and then that's a good way that you'll be able to get the, that information going to them around creating value, put them on your autoresponder list, and then they'll make, you'll make the sales. So this is something that I use in various niches that allows me um, very simply to communicate with people and get that link out there, right? But be careful, don't be too spammy on this, just make sure the answer is relevant. Option number two is Facebook groups. 
Now, again, I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit here. Don't go spamming Facebook groups for your links. Make sure you're providing value. Now, I have got a video on my channel that actually goes through this in a lot more detail about how you engage with people in Facebook groups and the way that you provide value and then the way that you then get people to come over and look at your particular product. So go ahead and take a look at that video if you want to look at Facebook groups and use that as a way to drive traffic. But just I just search for newborn baby up here. You look into your Facebook search bar and then if you just look under groups, you can go ahead and find some groups. Now, you want a group that's active. So this one at the top just happens to be a very, very active group. And you can see today only it's had 50, 71 new posts today. It's had over a thousand, nearly 1,500 this month and over the last 30 days rather. And it's got 5,700 members. So if you were to provide value to this group and ask questions and kind of get to know people in this group, it's a brilliant group to be a member of. There's over 5,000 members. It's growing as well quite, quite drastically. So you can use a Facebook group and then join a few Facebook groups and then use that as the way that you can start driving traffic to your office. Now, again, I'm concentrating on the baby niche. In other niches, this could be much, again, the numbers could be much bigger in some of these other niches. But again, this is a nice way that you can use to drive traffic to your particular product. So my third method and probably my favorite method is using YouTube. So YouTube, you can build a channel around your particular niche that's got lots of information, tips and tricks, product reviews, whatever you need to create as far as content is concerned. And then within the description of those particular videos, you give the link to back to your landing page. And from there, they can go see your offers. And the great thing about the channel as well is once you've created it, you can create all sorts of topics around that particular niche and you can change the various offers that you offer to people. So it's a very, very good way of actually creating lots of content and being able to drive people to affiliate links. Now, if you check out the link in the description below to the School of Nomads, you'll see there there's a course that actually takes you through all aspects of this process that I've been discussing today through the creation of a website, through the creation of a landing page, to building your YouTube channel, and then the types of videos, how to create those videos, and then how to rank those videos to make sure you get traffic to your particular offers. All of that is explained. So go ahead, if you're really interested in building a YouTube channel, then go ahead and click the link in the description below, and that'll give you all the information. So if you're interested in using YouTube to promote your offers, you don't actually have to be on camera. You can either do this kind of video where you're face to face with people, explaining things, doing tips and tips type videos, or you can just use any number of software out there. Content Samurai is a good one, where you just use a script and then that translates that into a video for you and you can just upload those videos and they're informational type videos. And you can use them to drive traffic. So you don't have to be on camera. The other thing is it's very quick in YouTube to find out whether something is going to be good to promote to others and the types of videos and channels that are already dedicated to that topic. So if I wanted to find out the channel that is dedicated to my particular topic, all I need to do is put a search term in, such as baby sleep, and then go to the filter on the left hand side here and just look for channels. So under type, you can just put channels, and then you'll see all of these different channels that are currently dedicated towards this particular niche. And you can refine that. Baby sleep is quite broad, but you can refine that. But you can see how many other people are actually making videos on this particular topic. And you can see this this one brings a very quick example. Relax Baby, whatever this is, has got 12,000 subscribers and they've got 77 videos on there so far. So they're obviously doing a great job over there because they've got so many subscribers. And if I look at their videos, a lot of them seem to be around actual sleeping sounds. So it's very, very popular, this particular niche um, around the types of music you can play babies when they go to sleep. So you can refine that. You can put um, baby sleep tips and trips, whatever. But it just shows you how you can actually go ahead and use YouTube to very quickly see whether something's worth promoting. Okay. So there's my big three. Um, there are others. You can use Instagram. You can use Pinterest. Um, again, the same concept applies. You've got to be thinking about how do I create value for people? 
you're going to be sending people to a landing page of some type to gather their information so that you can follow up with them and you want to make sure you're not spamming don't spam your links to anybody because quite frankly it doesn't work right you can waste your time spamming people with those ugly clickback links and it won't work hey so thanks for taking the time to watch this video please leave me any comments or questions below and take a second to hit that subscribe and the notification bell and i'll speak to you soon